Okay, so we are here once more to test out one of the skills that Unleashed made for his Hero Coliseum of Doom mod. The one that swaps your attack and speed. And, um, I put that on Gohan along with attack up and speed up 01. So he's going to gain, uh, times 3 buff to his speed. And then it's going to swap at the end and he's going to have well over 18k attack. And then the same for his speed, it's going to multiply his attack by... Two, when I go, when I get ready to use them, and he's still gonna have plenty of speed anyway. And uh, this was actually a suggestion by Unleashed himself, and I have to say, bravo! That's that's really really ingenious, honestly. Uh, so my focus here is going to be to build up uh, Future Gohan, and there was one other suggestion he made, and uh, that was to show off his attack and defense swap. He only with uh, this boo here, but the problem with doing that is that um, his skill already does that when he's low on the field. So I may have to go back and check for other figures that have really good attack and defense stats, or one that keep building up defense as crazily as Major Boo here does. Because I mean, look at that. He gains plus 700 to his defense each and every turn. I don't think there's another figure in the game that does that. But, uh, again, my primary focus is going to be to test out Gohan. And, uh, there was one other deck suggestion by someone else in, uh, Muggs' server that Unleashed and I are both in as well. And, uh, that was a really neat deck by a certain individual in there. Uh, I won't have time to get to it this evening, but I'll probably get to it sometime tomorrow over the weekend. But, uh, while we're here on the topic of, uh, I'll see Move Doom. I want to go ahead and give a special thank you and shout out once more to Unleashed because without him, this would not be possible at all. And I uh, want to give um, more of those out to my other favorite Hero Coliseum country creators as well, being Rock and Robo, Raven Gaming, and Monk the Duke. And one thing I do want to say is it it's good to see that uh, Monk is doing just fine. Apparently he was on vacation. <laughs> I was actually starting to get a little worried, worried there. He was gone for, I think, over a week or so. But uh, just vacation and much traveling for work, so... Thankfully he's just fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully not get Vegeta killed. I want to potentially get Piccolo killed, just like so in Build of Gohan, but at the same time... He's got over 10k HP, and he keeps getting defense, so that might be tricky. But I have to do that if I want to build up the stats on Gohan. And I also need to keep him safe somehow, so I think what I'm gonna do here is put Gohan and Vegeta on the right. And I'm just gonna double check their speed. I should not speed either way. But, uh... Hopefully I can show off just how hard we can get Gohan to hit. And I'm not going to be taking much damage here. And, uh, he's not either. So right here is pretty much a wasted turn. How much is that gonna do? Oh, well at least it did more than I thought it would. It's crazy how many updates there have been for Hero Coliseum, and yet the, one of the original figures, Piccolo, is still that good. It, he doesn't even have to be low on the field, and he just gives you plus 5,000 defense to your master. Um, to your master. That's just freaking crazy. You can absorb so much damage with that. And, uh, I'm actually going to try the same setup again. And thankfully, I'm gonna get rid of Frieza. Because Frieza was something I was really worried about when going into this battle. Uh, UI Goku has him built as a O1 figure. 
mean, at the very least, that makes sense, because you can't do anything to Frieza when he's alone in the field. And uh, Yuwa Goku here is actually kind of a cheating scumbag, because that that variant of uh, Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super, this trigger square is not in the middle back. It's in the upper middle. And he hasn't built as a no one figure, so... Anyway, I'm not sure what the devs were thinking on that. And uh, one other thing I do want to kind of mention is uh, I'll go to the bus counter at the end just to give it a quick look. I won't actually go into it. But uh, there's this really cool mod of parallel quest that I got to do with my buddy QB4Square. And uh, at the end of it, for the ultimate finish, you get to fight uh, Supreme Kai of Time, Super Saiyan Trunks. And you also get to fight, I think... Okay, it was the, those two, and then... Oh yeah, you also get to fight uh, your imported character from Xenoverse 1 if you're hosting it. It was really cool, so we actually took turns, and he and I got to face off against uh, Blastella when I hosted. And uh, you should see his character, it's freaking crazy. Uh, if you want to see it, I highly recommend going to check out his video, because that is actually a very intense parallel quest. It even gives you a timer to do it in for 77 minutes. You don't need that much time, but uh, that was a pretty awesome parallel quest. I would recommend checking out Kiwi Force Core's channel. And at this point, I'm honestly just praying and hoping, though I, I doubt it. It's probably highly unlikely. I'm trying to get Piccolo killed here. And I think I may end I may end up killing the master here. I just realized. Okay, so as stupid as it sounds, unfortunately I won. And uh, we're gonna have to give it another go. Yeah, we'll give it one more go. And uh, I actually did ask Unleashed uh, which figures he thinks I should use with the ones that he was recommending. And uh, which figure battles to, you know, try to test them out with. But, uh... uh what he said it made a lot of sense. It, he said, just have fun. That's what this is, that's what this is for. Uh, I think I may have been just too worried about uh, trying to show off his skills that he made the right way. And it made me forget for a bit there that it's, you know, it's just Tiro Coliseum, just have fun with it. And uh, I am having a lot of fun with it. There, there are a couple minor things that I think are still a problem with it. They're very minor, though. Like, for example, uh, I would agree with... The uh, Monk could do it on this one. Uh, there should be a guaranteed way uh, to, like, determine whether or not you're going to get a counterattack. Because it's just, it's way too random. And it could mean the difference between uh, what should be an easy win and, uh, and, um, or like an even match, and then the game just decides to screw you over and give your opponent the Spirit Bomb when you're like far lower on not only just HP, but um, bigger HP as well. So they just need to go, go back and uh, rebalance a few things, I think.
and uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, if I do this, I think Vegeta's gonna die. So what instead I'm gonna do is I feel like I'm safe enough to do so. I want to put Piccolo here outside of his trigger square and hope that he stacks uh, two figures on the right there. So I can at least get Gohan built up one more time. And uh, I am going to try to outspeed here because that is really going to benefit me if I can get rid of his Piccolo. As well as his Frieza. And I will gladly take this counter-attack. Honestly, I find it annoying that uh, Ultra Instinct Goku here has two on one figures. Like, why do you need two? Granted, I mean, I do have two in this deck, but I'm just testing out, you know, skills that Unleash made. And thankfully I get the double on Piccolo, so he's gone. And Freeze is gone. Okay. Probably should have just put Boo out there. Yeah, I should have just put Boo out there. I would have at least gotten 700 to the defense. Oh well. It, it doesn't make any sense to me that both of his variants only have one trigger score in the back middle, yet the devs said, okay, you know what? Screw the player. Give him an STA up, SP01, that give us a times three multiplier to all three stats, and give him an ultimate trigger score. Like, what is that? That is quite unfair if you ask me. And uh, hopefully I will lose Piccolo here. I'm at least trying to lose one more figure. While also being able to ult, but uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be able to pull that off here. Although, I did just think of something. Uh, since he has two trigger squares, both in the up, upper middle and the, lower, and the lower right, I think he should be killing Piccolo. I mean, it only makes sense. Just trying to predict the AI at this point. So, I want him to die. Um, yeah, I want Piccolo to die. Are you serious? Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to ult now. I'm gonna just skip. And this is legit getting annoying now. Like, seriously, I'm trying to show something off here, game. Can you work with me? Okay, so what I think I may have to do is just do this, because either way I can at least outspeed. And defend for Gohan, while also trying to get rid of Piccolo. But then I risk, you know, killing Goku in the process. Just, it's it's, it's a lose-lose situation. I have no idea what to do here. And, uh, I'm definitely outspeeding. Goku should at least live. Yes. Would you at least kill one of my other figures? Kill Piccolo, for God's sake. Uh, if only I could get doubles. Okay, well, I mean, I could still technically show it off, but, um... I have no choice here. I'm unfortunately not gonna get the second buff. Uh, to his posing skill, but, uh, screw it. I tried. 
Let's just show off the attack and uh, speed swap at this point. And you know, that's another minor thing. The the freaking text in some of the boxes. How is anyone gonna be able to read? Um, what I just said there for uh, Goku's. Uh, I think it was just his posing skill. It was all scorched together in one line. You really couldn't put it on more lines. Alright, well that did about as much as I thought it would, and uh, that is another reason why I personally don't really use Gohan very much, or future Gohan rather as an O1 figure. I just feel like his damage is slightly underwhelming. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's still a very good figure. He's very lacking in HP though, and um, he doesn't really have a spot in the upper middle, so uh, if you want to use him, you know, feel free to do so. I personally don't see the praise, but uh, I, will, I will not say that he's a bad figure, he's very good. But uh, anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Uh, look forward to that person's deck suggestion in the next video. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.